Since Demon's Souls introduced the world to difficult dark action RPGs, challenging bosses in this genre have dropped items that you can later trade with a specific NPC for powerful weapons, armor, spells, or other equipment. This is also true of Lords of the Fallen, but with its own little twist. This video ensures you won't miss how to get some of the most powerful items in the game. Once you reach the hub area of the game, Skyrest Bridge, you'll find a creepy NPC named Molu hiding up a set of stairs by the Vestige. You have to shift into the Umbral Realm to see him, and once you do, you can speak with him to purchase items, upgrade your Umbral Lantern, or later on, offer items called a Remembrance to purchase boss items. You cannot do so right away, even though you'll likely have Soulflayed Pieta's stigma after defeating her to receive the Remembrance of Pieta, she of Blessed Renewal, and a handful of items called Umbral Scurrings that state they can be traded with Molu. Don't worry about either right now. Instead, once you reach near the end of the area called Pilgrim's Perch, look for a ladder leading down into nothingness with moths flying about it. Shift into the Umbral Realm here and climb down to the revealed area, where you'll find a bloated body that you can soulflay surrounded by enemies. If you're quick, you can soulflay the corpse and pick up a very important item called the Bowl of Revelations. Take this item back to Molu and give it to him in order to unlock the ability to spend Umbral Scurrings on boss items. Unlike other Souls-like games, you can purchase multiple pieces of equipment from each major boss given you have enough Scurrings. You'll find most Umbral Scurrings by viewing Stigmas, which are found throughout the world in the Umbral Realm and trigger ghostly cutscenes that expand the lore. You can also buy them from Molu with Vigor. Furthermore, don't forget to shift to the Umbral Realm to view the Stigma of the major bosses, this with a cutscene you defeat. Sub-bosses without cutscenes will not generally have a stigma to view or a remembrance to show Molu. That's all you need to know to get those sweet boss items in Lords of the Fallen. To make sure you can actually reach and defeat those bosses, check back in with Prima Games for more Lords of the Fallen guides. No!